hi guys welcome back to my channel this is fancy stitches and my name is messy to all my wonderful subscribers both new and returning subscribers you are, are welcomed in today's video tutorial i'll be sharing with you guys how to cut and sew this simple cow neck top just the way you are seeing it here it is a well detailed video tutorial and all you have to do is to keep on watching subscribe to this channel for more of my video tutorials like comment and share with your friends and if you have any questions you can as well drop that on the comment sections so guys let's get into it so guys i will be making use of this piece of pattern paper for this video tutorial so here i've gone ahead to draw my baseline or my shoulder line then the next thing to do here is to take a horizontal body measurement from my baseline or my shoulder line down to my bust point is 10 inches to my under bust point is 13 inches and to the length of this top which serves as the waistline is 17 inches okay so i went ahead to draw a straight line across my marked points I also went ahead to label my bust line, under bust line, and the waist line or my hem line. The next step here is to mark for my shoulder measurement, which is 16 inches divided by 2 is going to give me 8 inches. I went ahead to mark my 8 inches point. Then from my marked point, I went down by 1 inch for my shoulder slope. And from my shoulder slope point, I went down by 8 inches to mark for my armhole. After that, I went ahead to draw a straight line connecting my marked point, okay? And this horizontal line here serves as the chest line. To mark for my neckline width, I will be making use of 4 inches, mark my point, then drew a straight line connecting to my shoulder slope point. To get my armhole curve, on my armhole line, I'm going to divide what I have here by 2 as to get the midpoint, which is 4 inches. Marked my point and from my marked point, I went in by half an inch. I also marked my point there. Then use my curve lula to curve for my armhole then the next step here is to mark for our basic body measurement coming over to the bust line my bust circumference of 36 inches divided by 4 is going to give me 9 inches so i went ahead to mark my 9 inches point then add 1 inch hemming allowance moving down to the under bust my under bust circumference is 30 inches divided by 4 is going to give me seven and a half inches so i went ahead to mark my seven and a half inches point then add 1 inch hemming allowance okay to the hemline, my waist circumference is also 30 inches, so I went ahead to define my waist circumference by 4, which is 7.5 inches. Then I went ahead to mark my point and also add 1 inch hemming allowance, okay? After that, I went ahead to use my curve ruler to connect my marked point, just the same way you see me doing it here in this video. Then I went ahead to extend my basic body line up to my chest line. so guys i went ahead to cut it out as you can see i didn't mark for my dad because it's not necessary after cutting this is what i have and i will be using this to cut on my fabric so guys i'll be making use of this piece of fabric this is about one yard of my stretchy crepe material for this video tutorial and as you can see this part is very stretchy okay can you see that then why this part is not that stretchy okay so we'll be using the stretchy part to cut for our crew neckline top okay so so guys this is the right side of my fabric and this is the wrong side of my fabric okay and to fold for my crew neck what i'm going to do is i'm going to measure out I'm going to measure out 10 inches from here, okay, 10 inches, which is this point. So I'll also measure out 10 inches, which is here, at the other edge of my fabric, which is here. Then I'm going to fold it this way. Can you see what I'm doing? This way, then put it together like this then arrange it okay so 
and the folded part this is 10 inches okay after arranging my fabric i went ahead to place my pattern paper and on my pattern paper i used my scissors to slit along the chest line of my pattern paper just the same way you see me doing it here in this video then i went ahead to arrange it on my fabric i also went ahead to cut it out so this material here the reason why i cut it this way is that this will serve as the facing okay then I went ahead to use my pins to hold my fabrics. And for my front pattern, this is how it's going to look like after sewing, okay? For my back pattern, I'll be using the same front pattern paper to cut for my back pattern. Coming over to my back neckline length, I'll be making use of one and a half inch. And use my curve ruler to cut for my neckline so guys i went ahead to mark for my dad and i discovered that it's not necessary so you can as well go ahead and mark for your dad what i did here was to divide my nipple to nipple measurement which is eight inches divided by two is going to give me four inches so i went ahead to mark my four inches point from the chest line down to my hemline after that i took out half an inch from both sides okay then i went ahead to cut out for my neckline after that i went ahead to arrange my fabric as to cut for my back pattern just the same way you see me doing it here in this video to cut for my interfacing i folded a piece of fabric then placed my back pattern on top of it as to trace out my neckline just the same way you see me doing it here in this video and i used three inches for the length of my facing Then I went ahead to open up my back pattern and place my interfacing on top of it. Use my pin to hold it together. So guys, you can see how it's actually coming out. And I went ahead to my sewing machine as to stitch it up. For the back pattern, I've gone ahead to fix my facing as you can see that. Can you see it? So the next thing is I'm going to take this now to my pressing iron. Then use my hemming gum. Okay. I will insert my hemming gum just this way then close it up and use my pressing iron to hold it okay just exactly this way okay so that i will have a good neckline result okay so guys this is my result after applying my hemming gum okay you can see how beautiful and neat it is don't forget to subscribe to this channel like and share with your friends okay the next thing here is to fix my shoulder okay so this is the shoulder part of the front pattern okay this is the front pattern and this is the back then i went ahead to use my pin to hold my shoulders together i'm going to take this now to my sewing machine to stitch up this area and stitch up this area okay so guys as you can see i'm done with the fixing of my shoulder okay then the next thing here is to mark our body measurements okay for our shaping i'll be using one and a half inch okay so i'll mark one and a half inch here all the way down okay you can see what i'm doing On this marked point is where I'm going to stitch along. I also do the same at the other side of my top. Then I'll go ahead and measure this. As you can see, what I have here is 15, which is my waist circumference of 30 inches divided by 2 is going to give me 15 inches. So this is what exactly what I have here. Okay, then coming over to the bust. What I have here is 18 inches, which is my bust circumference of that 6 inches divided by 2 is going to give me 18 inches. Okay, so I will take exactly 1.5 inches that I applied, then I will use it to shape. Okay. 
after that i went ahead to cut out a piece of fabric as to turn up my armhole okay it will serve as my armhole facing finally guys i'm done with this beautiful crown neck top as you can see this is my end result so if you love this video don't forget to give the girl a like comment and also subscribe to my channel for more of my interesting videos bye and see you on my next video thank you